Hey there, Simon here from AQ Outdoors, just checking in from the mountain wave on the beautiful Kananaskis River in sunny Alberta. Just got off a great session and my first time out on the LibTech Puddlefish. So I've been surfing a Boardworks Froth soft top for a while now, uh, like a few seasons, and it's been a bit of a crutch to be honest. Like I'm a lifelong ocean surfer, but kind of a, let's say an intermediate to strong intermediate river surfer. And I've been a bit reluctant to move into more of a performance board, but I finally bit the bullet this year. And I gotta say, I couldn't be more stoked. Took this out today, rivers at 30 CMS, nice and steep. And I was pleasantly surprised because my weak link in my river surfing is definitely standing up. So I had almost 100% hit rate in getting to my feet today on this thing. So there is certainly more stability and volume to this board than I anticipated. So I'm really fired up about that. And on my feet, I feel pretty at home with it. I've surfed ocean surf my whole life and it felt like a really nice loose board, but it would hold a rail on your turns. I've got a typical thruster set up in there, like medium sized Felipe Toledo fins in it. And it just felt like a really nice carvy board. It would hold a rail, didn't get flushed off the wave, was loose where you needed it to, carved where you needed it to, which was really, really nice. So this board has a five fin setup, it takes FCS one and FCS two, which I found out today, as I was rumbling through the shop trying to find fins for it. And uh, yeah, with a typical three fin setup, it feels really nice and stable and you can drive it really well. I was surfing the Hydra today as well and that had two medium fins and then two nubster fins in it. And I think this board with that setup would feel a heck of a lot more loose and I'm excited to give that a try at some point. It has a good amount of rocker, which saved me from purling a few times on some pretty average get ups. And it's 5'4". It surfs quite a lot shorter, it feels like to me, than 5'4", which is really nice. It was really snappy through the turns and really easy to get back on track when uh, I got a little bit wayward. So, you know, overall, very much first impressions, first day out on it. I'm really stoked that I made the jump from the froth to this. The froth was a great board, but I think I'm gonna have a fantastic time with this moving into the future. Just as a heads up, like I'm 5'9", about 165 pounds, and it feels like it had more than ample buoyancy for me at that weight. Thanks for checking out the review. Hopefully it's helpful. If you liked it, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel for more great info. And if you want to find out more about our river surfing products, just hit us up at aqoutdoors.com.